This was it, my riding into town for my big line in the saloon. I was never able to get... I was never shown a script, and besides, everything was usually changed on Mr. Hawks's yellow pad. I gathered we were to abduct the ingenue who was inside the hotel seeking help from the local sheriff. All right, Cam. Nobody in the jail, Whitey. All right. George, go around back. Come in that way. What we didn't know was that the local sheriff had a friend in there with him. The Duke. Pat. Well, young lady, you gave us quite a chase. Sheriff, this is the man that I wanted you to arrest. He's the murderer. Who are you, mister? And what exactly is your business here? Name's Carter. Whitey Carter. I'm a deputy from Rio Lobo. As to my business, I came looking for her. She's wanted. What for? She and the old man she lived with ran one of them medicine shows. Sheriff and Rio Lobo wants to talk to her. So we'll just take her along with us. Just a minute, Mr. Carter. I'm the sheriff of Blackthorn, and I'd like to see a warrant. Warrant? For this young lady's arrest. Well, you know, I never thought about that. Without a warrant, you're not taking anyone. This here is your warrant, mister. George Plimpton, on the set. It was an odd sensation, after being so much on the periphery as an observer, suddenly to have the attention of everyone focus on me and that one deadly line. Now I was the object they were going to have to manipulate through the scene. It was all suddenly so serious, this, and, and professional. We'll just walk it slow. All right, folks, quiet down. Quiet for rehearsal. You know, I never thought about that. Mr. Carter, without a warrant, you're not taking any one. This here's your warrant, mister. Satisfied, Sheriff? All right. Good. Can he aim the gun at these men here? He better. He better aim right at these. I will. Boys, sir. Do I have 35? Yes, sir. Go over that way. If you don't take it, it won't look like anything. You're going to have to pop yeah, your right, head. Right. Not your body, but your head. Yeah. Slowly, the indignities I was going to go through as the second heavy began to I unfold. The first being a belt in the jaw from my own gun. You won't hit you. No. And don't I'm walk not scared about being hit. While the final details are being worked out on the set, I was sent to a corner to practice. Well, I just I just took it out of the, from underneath. He's really farther yeah. away from that. Yeah. Oh, I just took it. Right. Wow. See. Got you. All right, everybody. This is a rehearsal. Without a warrant. You're not taking any. This here's your warrant, Mister. Satisfied, Sheriff. All right, now we just uh, George, keep the, <laughs> that gun right where you're looking. Right over there. It was pointing up, up a little bit. Right. You see what I mean? Yeah. If you if you practice cocking it when you say it, it'd be better. Okay, you want me to cock it as I say this here? Well, you, 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 you'd come in with it cocked. I mean, if you're going to use this gun, you'd, you'd have it like that. I can put it on my hip and aim it right at him and have that. So I don't call if you come like that, if you come like that, you're not ready to shoot me. You know, guys that have handled these lever actions and say, Oh, George, you ch uh, change that line. Just say, I got a warrant right here, Sheriff. You want me to change the, li change the line? You <clears throat> I've been working on it for a week. It's going to take quite a time to... <laughs> Oh, you can do it, Mr. Plankton. <laughs> Shot my confidence here. I, uh... <laughs> All right. I got a warrant right here. I got a warrant right here. Wasn't it right here I got a warrant, Sheriff? No. no I, just... I may use this a little closer. <laughs> you may load it. 
All right, Cam. Warren. For the young lady's arrest. <laughs> you know, I never thought about that. Mr. Carter, without a warrant, you're not taking it anywhere. I got a warrant right here, Sheriff. Satisfied, Sheriff? Now drop your gun and go sit down. What we killers didn't know was that Jennifer had a Derringer oh, under the table. duplicate the grunts as if I really had been popped by the Duke. Try two, three different ways. Spade! All right, Cam. Good, okay, fine. Great. Of course, I still had to be killed. That would happen after lunch. Oh, you're great. You got the bar. Get the bar. You yeah. get the bar. That's great, because it's just the right height. You get shot, and, you, and then you can kind of go down, because the bar is always round. You don't get splinters on it going down. And always keep your eyes open. Eyes open? Yeah, eyes open. I think that's a good touch. Just <laughs> kind of stare. They let them come over, and then they have to close them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That always makes a good touch. And then you just stop breathing, you know. <laughs> While makeup was creating the effect of being smashed by Mr. Wayne, I found out from a script girl that my part now called for me to pull myself up and try to shoot the Duke in the back with a pistol. Then I get shot. A.D. Flowers rigged a harness which, pulled violently by wires, would slam me flat up against the wall in simulation of being blasted with a rifle. It wouldn't be the Duke shooting me, it turned out, but some other fellow. Still, I assumed I would have the, the chance to play the death scene to the hilt, stuck flat against the wall, giving them the, the glazed look, and then slowly, infinitely slowly, beginning to slide down. The final indignities ricocheted into a corner with not the slightest chance of my big scene, and moreover, shot down by a guy in pink tights I'd never seen before. Put together, it seemed hard to believe that this brief sequence had utilized the energy and imagination of over 100 people for two days. I got a warrant right here, Sheriff. Satisfied, Sheriff? Now drop your gun and go sit down. All right, everyone stand still. No one gets hurt. Come on, you. <laughs> Well, George, that's your last shot. You've done a good job. Press five. I'll never forgive you for uh, changing my mind there. <laughs> Brutal blow. Oh, it's been wonderful coat starring with you. <laughs> Duke, you didn't give me much of a chance at you there. <laughs> no, Jesus. One great rifle in the bad. chin, that's the only time I ever saw you. <laughs> you better look out in your next picture. I'll be back. <laughs> Come on, Well, we'll be happy about it if you do. Great. You've taken a lot of kidding. That's <laughs> And you're taking it well. We're very happy to have had you aboard. Well, it's great fun to be on board. It really was. Good. Well, 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 thank, thank you, George. Luck. Good luck with the rest of it. Thank, thank you. you again. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prop then seemed awfully anxious to relieve me of the shooting iron, which had, which had failed me so abysmally against the Duke. George, doesn't this give you a feeling that you are a finished actor? <laughs> More ways than one. I think one is always a little sad leaving the props of illusion. The pistol that shoots blanks, the whiskey that is, of course, tea, shaving off the beard and getting out of the cowboy costume. Actors speak of this, that it is good to be someone else for a while, to escape into a different world, even if it is one of illusion. I found myself in that deserted movie set saloon, my roll over, but still caught up in this feeling. Well, here's to a fascinating profession. St. T. Well, the old Duke sucked it to me again. 